me start off by saying happy new year to everyone i hope you guys had a good 2021 and i hope you guys will have an even better 2022 so from me to everyone watching happy new year hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the a to z challenge the challenge where we play every nation in u4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order and this week we're back with the nation of bamberg now i hear you wondering what is this nation i've never heard of it before who is bamberg well bamberg is a nation located right here in the hre we start off as a vassal of Würzburg, a pretty strong nation i think they have a level 3 fort so it's gonna be annoying to fight them and yeah man national ideas focusing on religious stuff we're a bishopric obviously missionaries devotion we got some army stuff as well religious unity and actually not bad national ideas at all even though we start off with a very very bad ruler but what do we do as bamberg for this challenge well the obvious thing to do would be to form the nation of franconia right that's pretty much the nation we need to form as a franconian cultured nation but i thought to myself that's boring Ring, why not try and form another nation, one of the most powerful nations in U4, the nation of Prussia. And plus, I haven't formed Prussia in a while, so I wanted to do it. So that's gonna be the challenge for today. Form Prussia as Bamberg. And if you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It helps out a lot and it lets me know you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more A to Z videos like this with challenges or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Bamberg. All right, all right, here we are as Bamberg. Tiny, tiny nation, very weak. Like I said, a bishopric. Our force limit is three because we're a subject nation. Würzburg is pretty powerful, they got a level 3 fort, but let's see if we can find anyone to support our independence, and we can! Saxony, and by extension Thuringia, along with Nuremberg and Rothenburg, so let's go ahead and ask all of those boys to uh, support our independence, there we go, very nice, alright, so we got two guys, now we just need to buff up, and then uh, beat up Würzburg, man! Uh, of course, first let me do some estate stuff, alright, estate stuff done, time to get some more guys to support our independence, alright, alright, I've gotten Saxony and their junior partner Thuringia to support me along with Nuremberg and Rothenburg. Würzburg meanwhile have allied Ansbach and Goslar, that's pretty good. I did insult them so we don't have as good relations and I think uh, I think it's time to declare boys. Let me just take uh, apparently a lot more loans to hire this discipline guy and fire this diplo rep guy and let's declare our independence versus Würzburg. Starting off strong of course. All right, uh, let's fight them. Alright, so the war is done, but unfortunately their capital is occupied by Rothenburg over here. Uh, yeah, little mistake on my part, which means I can only get independence. I, uh, I was planning to conquer their provinces as well, but yeah. Oh well, you know, I guess, uh, the start wasn't so good. Let's just, let's just get independence from the man, so the truce is as short as possible, I guess. Alright, now we're independent, and we have truces or alliances with all our neighbors. So, uh, I guess it's time to chill and do nothing for five years. Let's try and pay off some loans. I guess. Maybe ally Austria. Yeah. Ooh, but here's a little opportunity we can do. The classic Thuringia breaking free from Saxony because they can't beat up the pretend rebels. So pretty soon after these guys occupy Thuringia, they should break free. Meaning they won't have any allies. That's why I've started spying on Saxony so I can fight them as soon as they become independent. Ah, well, I guess that isn't gonna happen because Saxony just beat up the rebels. <laughs> Back to waiting. I was like, yay, we can royal marry an ally Austria, but then I saw that we can't because we're, well, we're a bishopric. Ah, it's pretty painful already, boys. All right, I've built up 10 favors with all of my allies, Saxony, Hesse, Rothenburg, and Lancehut. I've allied those guys, and it's finally time to declare on Ansbach. Because they joined a trade league with Lubeck, I had to wait. I joined the trade league as well for a defensive thingy, but hey, they joined as well. But listen, who cares? We're gonna fight all of these guys, and we're gonna get a ton of money from all of them. Ah, of course, exit the trade league first. Of course, let's uh, leave trade league. There we go. Now can we declare on them? Yes, now we can. No truces. All right, let's call in all of these guys and uh, declare on Ansbach. Wonderful. Ah, tier 2 government reform time, boys. Unfortunately, no strength and noble privileges. We're not a monarchy, but we can take the internal or external mission. We're gonna take the external one. This one's for expansion and stuff like that, you know? And the war is done, boys. I know we're expanding uh, in sort of the wrong way. We're supposed to be going this way, but hey, listen. What are you gonna do, right? At least that's all done. And I've got some war reps from a bunch of other guys. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, where do we expand next? We gotta go through Saxony eventually. So let's try and find some other allies instead of them. And that's not gonna work. 
Well, actually, I will improve with Bohemia. All right, let me finally break my alliance with uh, Saxony, I guess. Listen, we gotta start allying their rivals. And uh, wait, I might actually be able to ally Brandenburg and Bohemia. We'll see, though. We'll see. Hey, nice. We can ally Brandenburg. Wonderful. Now I can uh, continue spying on Saxony. And I guess our next war will be with them. I'm gonna try and get up to here or something, you know. So then I can break my alliance with them and fight them with the help of their rivals. Like Pomerania. No, that's Staten. Well, either way, we're going this way. Bruh, Württemberg got elected as the HR Emperor. Like, what's the deal here? Why is no one voting for Austria? Do they have a girl heir? No, it's a dude. But did they just get him? Uh, what's going on here, dude? Well, either way, at least the Emperor is now weaker, which is what I want, I guess? All right, all right, time to pick our first idea group and listen. Ah, uh, I'm thinking about going Diplo or Quantity for this. Of course, we're gonna be picking both. Oh, Divine, Devotion, Fire Damage Received, Leader Cost, Morale, uh, blah, 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 blah. Wait, Manpower? Huh. I guess we're going with divine ideas, boys and girls. Boom, there we go. Let's start focusing on Mill. And luckily, I got rid of that uh, 102 guy or whatever he was. All right, boys and girls, I've amassed enough favors with all of my allies, including Hungary, <laughs> to declare on Thuringia and Saxony. And there we go. They are allied to the current emperor, Württemberg. But listen, who cares about this emperor, dude? Let's declare for Vogtland right here and call in all the boys. Now, this is overkill, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Well, I literally don't care. Let's see them suffer. Ha ha ha. Listen, bro, this war isn't as easy as I thought. <laughs> Looks like Württemberg here from being Emperor got some super mega death army in their hands and uh, they just beat me up. So my guys decided to go to Pest and see the uh, see the Bibliotheca Corviana. Let's humiliate the Emperor of the HRE, everyone. <laughs> and let's make them uh, end some uh, alliances. All right, let's do something like this. I guess uh, I guess the war is done, huh? Nice. We've uh, reached the border of Brandenburg. Now we just gotta go through them. I think I need Berlin. I'm not sure. I for sure need Danzig and Konigsberg, though. From Danzig, who's a vassal of Poland, of course. Of course we're gonna have to fight Poland, who luckily doesn't have Lithuania as a junior partner, but it doesn't make much of a difference, to be honest. But yeah, nice uh, nice expansion from us here. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't be getting a coalition from this. I don't think so. All right, now we gotta chill and improve relations with everyone. I even have these guys establishing communities and I'm improving with outrage countries. We just gotta chill a bit, boys. No big deal. Tier 3, Governor of Worm time. Let's combat some heresy for plus the morale of Wormies. Now, I got a little idea here, boys. We can promote Saxon, right? Alright, let's do that. And we can actually culture shift the Saxon. Alright, let's do that. And boom, now we can form Saxony if Saxony doesn't exist. Alright, that's another stepping stone in our plan right there. So we're gonna Gonna wipe these guys out, form Saxony, get better ideas, get better missions, and then we'll go on to try and form Prussia. Can we actually form Prussia as a bishopric though? Hmm. So someone just made Bohemia pop out Moravia and Lusatia. I don't know how this happened. I, it happened in a what if I did yesterday too. I wonder if... Actually, I don't know what I wonder, but I'll spy on these guys too. So yeah, boys, right now we're chilling. We spawned the Renaissance like a boss and we're reducing aggressive expansion. I could declare on some guys, but then they would be really angry when I fight Saxony. So right now I think we're just chilling until we fight Saxony again, man. I'm thinking of popping off a humiliation war or two, but I don't know who to humiliate. Maybe Lusatia here or Anhalt. Huh, they seem like a nice option. Ah, uh, well, I'll take a thought. Maybe not. And our truce with Saxony is up, boys and girls. Time to declare on them and form Saxony ourselves. Will we be able to rival ourselves? Let's try and do that. Take Leipzig, call in these boys, and yeah, that's pretty much it simple. And we've completely obliterated the nation of Saxony with our supreme army over here. Shout out to these 12k guys. Either way, let's wipe out Saxony so we can form <laughs> Saxony. And uh, we need something else too. Right, I need some more provinces uh, over here. So not Coburg. I guess I need to take one of these two. Uh, let's take uh, Erfurt. I think it's a, yeah, it's a center of trade and it produces dyes. Duh. All right, let's do that. Take all their money and uh, yeah. Wonderful. Excellent. Nice. Now we should be able to form Saxony as soon as we core these very expensive uh, two provinces. Perfect, man. We're about to be Saxony and then we're gonna be Prussia. I wonder why the decision to form Prussia isn't showing up here even though we're Saxon. Now the problem I'm seeing is how are we gonna deal with such a big and powerful Poland who've already conquered HRE provinces over here and over here with such a weak emperor. I remember being happy that Austria lost the emperorship, but listen, we're Wurttemberg, they're not gonna protect the empire, dude. They're just not. 
Oh, I just wish I was a monarchy myself so I could seize the throne. Finally, Saxony. Yes, yes, please. All right, we're not Bamberg anymore. Uh, Saxon Ideas, Dev Cost, Advisor Discount, Diplomats, Goods Produced. Mm -mm -mm. Saxony with Divine Ideas, anyone? Have you ever seen a Saxony bishopric? I think not. I think not, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at our missions. Right, uh, they all tell us to expand in places we haven't expanded. <laughs> That's fine. Let's take Pike and Shot. Now, what I'm wondering is why I still don't have the form Prussia option. Can you not form Prussia as a theocracy? I could have swore it just stayed here all the time. Maybe I need to be Protestant or something. Ah, second idea group time. Well, we got Divine, so that's a mill idea group, I guess. Economic, Diplo, Influence. I feel like we gotta go with Diplo, right? Dude, Württemberg got the Burgundian inheritance. Now you might think that's crazy, but <laughs> Burgundy is an OPM. <laughs> These guys can't get anything going for them, dude. Even though they're the emperor, they still suck. They actually chose to keep their union with Burgundy, so now France is gonna declare on them? Oh, oh they already did. They already did. Oh, let's take a look at what that looks like. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'm sure Württemberg has got this in the bag, right, boys? They totally just didn't weaken the empire even further. I'm literally shaking my head right now. All right, we need to expand a bit. Let's at least try and get a border with Poland. Fear me, or should I say fear Hungary? <laughs> I totally didn't need to call in Hungary. I uh, had no idea all their allies were OPMs, but wait. Oh, that's just mill access. Uh, can we full annex these guys? Wait, they don't want to be full annexed. And it's not even a lot of a... Uh, I guess I have to beat up their army first. Right, right. Okay, now they're gone. Thank you. Hey, a mission. Claim the borderlands. Well, it's not a very good one, is it? <laughs> oh, and, uh, now I got claims on Silesia, at least. Poland. They're in a little pickle here versus, well, a lot of nations, apparently. Hmm, maybe not that many nations, but can we do something to them right away? They're allied to Austria? Come on, dude. Why are they allied to Austria? Bruh. Let's become, wait, I was gonna say let's become a brewery, but we don't have that much grain or wine. <laughs> it's not, uh, it's not really worth it to become a brewery over here, maybe in Italy, but, uh, I guess if we're not, wait, goods produced plus 10, you know what, that's good enough for me. We're a Trappist Order now, boys. Trappist Order, that's right. Trappist Frederick Karl I von Flans. Oh, we're still a bishopric. But hey, 30% goods produced before 1500? Sign me up. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered. I can beat up the free cities, because Austria and their boys won't defend them, but Württemberg and their weak boys will defend the free cities. So, uh... Let's get some spy networks going on these guys, shall we? I mean, listen, where am I gonna expand, dude? Poland, they've got 40,000 troops. Lithuania, they got like 30k. You really want me to declare on these guys and their ally to Austria? Listen, uh, yeah, this, this isn't doable right now, boys. I'm sorry. I can't even fight Bohemia, they're allied to France. All right, boys, it's time to smash the free city of Nuremberg out of the water. But you know what's the best part about this? That's right, we'll also be fighting Bohemia. Yeah, baby, we're gonna take Cheb, the gold mine, uh, and we're gonna make them end their alliance with France, uh. So, let's declare Nuremberg, call in all the boys right here, and yeah. Who cares about these tiny guys over here, bro? Not me, not the Trappist Order of Saxony. Yes, let's make beers. All right, goodbye, Bohemia. Give me Cheb right there and end your alliance with France. Thank you very much. Hey, the Protestant Reformation. Oh, of course, we're gonna be going Protestant, baby. And that's Nuremberg out, man. That's Nuremberg out. A wonderful, uh, well, I don't care about that. A wonderful province, paper, center of trade, wonderful. Let's core that up. Let's go into the religion screen. Let's convert to Protestant. Of course, Catholic is so, so good in Origins. But listen, I gotta become Prussia, which still isn't showing up here for some reason. Is it because I'm a theocracy? Please, even if you tell me in the comments, I still won't know. Because by the time you see this video, like 10 days will have passed after I've recorded it. And I've probably already found out if it was because I'm a theocracy. But you can still tell me in the comments, though. Why did I lose the, the brewery, though? Is it because I went Protestant? I guess, nope, no Protestant breweries. Listen, this campaign is getting more cursed by the second, dude. I swear, let's take divine nobility. And, uh, let's do this, too. Let's, uh, start converting provinces. Sure. I guess it's time for another war with Bohemia. At least this will shorten my truce, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go, uh, help out the boy Brandenburg. This didn't shorten my truce with Bohemia. In fact, it prolonged it. <laughs> 
Jesus. <laughs> Look at this coalition, man. Two countries? Psh, get out of here. There, there's no one I can ally to help me beat up Poland, dude. Boys, a blessing in disguise. I have been warned by Poland. No, what these fools don't realize is if I fight a nation that they can defend because they warn me, such as like uh, Brandenburg and Lusatia, I think those are the only two nations that are valid. Pretty much. Oh, not Lusatia, Glugo. Pretty much, I can fight Poland without fighting Lithuania, Austria, and Venice. I'm literally shaking my head right now at their stupidity. Ha ha ha. And they're fighting a bunch of nations too at the same time. Now, if I declare on Glogau here, I'll fight Poland and Bohemia, which is great. But most importantly, Hungary, Landsat, and Rothenburg will come to back me up. We'll just knock out Bohemia immediately, and then we'll shift our focus to Poland. And then I can make them break these alliances and also take stuff from them. I don't care if they're not a co-belligerent. So let's try and do that, boys. All right, let's do it. Let's declare on Glogau and call in all of these guys. Oh, I got beat up. <laughs> And Poland just got dunked on by the Ottomans as well, which is awesome. This is who they're fighting right now. I think things are looking up for me. Oh, look, the Protestant guys are called the Pastors. Huh, uh, that's literally the first time I'm noticing that. Yes, yes, it is all unfolding as I have foreseen. Why am I losing war score though? I guess it's because I don't have uh, this province occupied. Whatever. Bombarding every fort along the way. Just monastic brewery. That's not a monastic brewery anymore, but we're back to a bishopric Saxony formed from Bamberg things. Yes, yes. It's so easy, boys. Bamberg? Forming Prussia as Bamberg? It's literally the easiest way to form Prussia. Oh, okay, so Hungary just dipped. Uh, this puts me in a precarious position. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is insane. There's no way I'm gonna take all of this stuff. And it's 90 AE. What do I do here, Man, obviously Poland will be weaker because they'll lose to the Ottomans, right? But you know, I'm thinking, man, we can't uh we can't just take stuff from them. Maybe in the main piece deal though. Let's see. Nah, it's still way too much, man. We gotta separate piece them. I feel like make them end their alliance with Austria, most importantly, and Lithuania. I don't really care about Venice and Switzerland. And maybe we'll take oh, I can't take anything from them. Maybe I'll just take their money or something, huh? And then we'll continue along like that. But these provinces are so expensive still so let's at least knock out one province and then all their money there we go poland's out yeah yeah oh well let's hope it's easier later huh my truth with them is 11 years you know what i'll actually uh vassalize glogau and take all their money and then i'll just uh give them there we go i'll give them this province which is actually their uh their core uh, how do i give it to them by the way i did just find out we can't be a theocracy if we want to form uh prussia which we are of course but that's totally fine boys and girls because at tier 5 secularization question mark we can become a monarchy tier 5 not at the final tier like most governments so easy peasy man we'll just become a monarchy at the next reform new idea group time let's take another mill one so we went with divine i'm thinking hmm, maybe not quality but offensive work quantity is gonna be it i feel like now poland oh they do have a massive army actually and uh we're not looking too good on our army size we can afford a much bigger bigger army than this so why not go with quantity for our third one ah wonderful i'm helping out uh hungry in this war but that's beside the point because someone just got the great peasants war ladies and gentlemen not the peasants war but the great peasants war yeah i wonder who has it actually hmm i got a bunch of cbs so it's not hesse it's uh not brandenburg not on halt not these guys or these guys what about bohemia wait it's none of these guys is it poland no it's not poland maybe we should wait for it to update well well, I don't know who it is. So my choice with Poland did end, but looky looky, who's decided to re-ally Austria? That's right, everyone. Poland. Ah, wonderful. Venice. Venice are a pain in the butt, too. And, uh, listen. I don't think we can win this. Hungary, you guys know they're not that strong, man. So, uh, let me think about this. Okay, okay. Provence declared on Austria. All right, that's what I like to see. With their buddies France backing them, Austria should be too... Oh, well, that alliance is already broken because I guess Poland declined the call to arms. All right, wonderful. I guess we're gonna declare on Poland now, boys. Perfect. All right, so I think it is time to declare. It is gonna be... Oh, no, Brandenburg is getting sieged down now. Come on, man. Well, they wouldn't join earlier either way, but it's time to declare for Vrope. 
Claw maybe, Colin Hungary, Colin and Rothenberg were still weaker than uh, Poland and Venice in my opinion, but uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna try and rush Venice down here, maybe then focus my attention on Poland. They still have a really big army, man. Look at this, 53k. Yeah, they're pretty big, but either way, let's declare right here, huh? And we'll try and capture uh, Danzig and Konigsberg in this war. And uh, I think after that, we should be able to form Prussia. Of course, if everything goes according to plan in this war. And we can actually become a monarchy too, uh, which is excellent. This is it, I think. Crown ruler. Uh, let's see. Government changes to monarchy. Yep, that's it. All right, I'm going to do that after this war. And wonderful. We can kick Venice out. That was pretty quick. All right, now it's time to focus on Poland. And at this point, we're definitely stronger. Sweet. All right, going good, going good. Hungry. Hungary is doing some work down here. They did get sieged down a bit, but I just saw them crush a Polish army, which is excellent. We're sieging everything down. Even Austria is suffering. Hey, that's what you get for not allying me at the start, man. What can I say? Look at who they're fighting. Oh my god. I'm so sad for Austria. Not really. I don't even care. <laughs> and there we go, boys. Poland has been defeated, man. 90% war score. Almost full occupied. Listen, I can't be bothered to go down to the Black Sea coast. Meanwhile, they're occupying Hungary, so let's peace out before Hungary pieces out. And, uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna be taking these provinces right here, Danzig and Konigsberg. Alternatively, we could have Stolp. I think this is Stolp. Yeah, Stolp and Konigsberg. But listen, why Why not get all three, right? That's how much of a chad I am. Let's take war reps and all their money as well. Coalition, I literally don't care. It's literally only Poland. And let's take that. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's core these up, huh? Right, right. I gotta do it uh, one by one because they're too far away. <laughs> and we can also become a monarchy. There it is. Crown ruler. Boom. Boom. Lose three gov reforms, government type changes to a monarchy, we're a duchy, there we go. And uh, yeah, autocracy or feudal nobility, it really doesn't matter, but let's go with an, uh, let's go with an autocracy, huh? Boom, there we go. Ah, uh, dudes, we can even take strength and noble privileges this campaign. I'm sorry for uh, misleading you at the start and telling you that we won't be taking it. For our tier two government reform, strength and noble privileges, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, that's enough, now we should have the option, there it is, uh, reform form into Prussia, own core province Konigsberg, we own it, uh, wait a minute, Warmia, listen, nobody told me about this, nobody told me about that, since when is that one a requirement, bruh, oh, now Austria wants to ally me, well, I will do that, maybe they'll, uh, maybe it'll prevent them from allying Poland, I can't form it, man, <laughs> we need this province, dude, we need a Warmia, since when is that a requirement, man, I thought it was Konigsberg for sure, and one of Stolp or Danzig, right, when did they change it, I guess I haven't played Prussia in a while, huh, uh, tell me in the comments below, when did they add this? But I guess we're back to waiting for another truce with Poland. And boy, oh boy, this time I'm angry. I'm gonna decimate them. Probably gonna take all of these provinces, to be honest. Yeah, so we gotta wait now for about, uh, for about seven years. Maybe we can get into some other shenanigans in the HRE. Until then. And those other shenanigans are fighting Thuringia, apparently. Let's take Weimar. Uh, I'm gonna call on all of these guys, because why not? And there we go, I've beaten these guys up. I'm not gonna full annex them, I'm just gonna take these two provinces. I'm generous like that. Nice. I can't believe Austria picked grant concessions to the peasantry, man. I thought we were gonna end the peasants war here. I mean, I guess it did, but we lose tax. This is the wrong decision, Austria. It has to happen every campaign, doesn't it? The end is nigh. All right, boys, time to declare and take Warmia right here from Poland. Uh, this time it's more annoying because they've allied Lithuania, but it's no problem. We'll just call in Austria as well. Let's declare for Warmia right there. Perfect. Confirm. Yes, yes, I would like to confirm. Why is uh, Trent in this? All right, I'm helping up my boys here. That's why. Can we walk over to Venice? We can, so let's do that. All right, Venice is out. Bye, Lithuania. Listen, I'm so powerful and I'm so good at beating Poland that I literally just stopped caring about that war and started caring about this stupid war that uh, Lance Hut called me in, or uh, who did? Munich. Munich called me in. Right, right. So let's go beat up those guys over there, man. Psh, stupid. All right, well, we just beat up Lance Hut with Munich. Nice. Uh, what have my boys been up to in Poland? Oh, they they almost full occupied them. Listen, this isn't enough for me. To make Poland pay for the fact that I forgot about this province or didn't know that I needed it, I'm gonna go completely destroy them. Ah, nice. We've 100%ed Poland. Well, that's what you guys get for me forgetting about this. <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense. But yeah, let's do this, huh? Let's get the classic Prussia borders over here going. Oh, maybe I want Silesia too? Or is it not occupied by me? Nope, it's not occupied by me, so I'm not taking stuff there. And I'm gonna humiliate them because this is so humiliating for them. And I'm gonna pillage Warsaw, and I'm gonna get war reps, and I'm gonna get as much money as I can. Well, thanks Poland. <laughs> not again.
And now that we have cormed up the province of Warmia or Urmland or Allenstein, why does it have 48 different names? We can reform into Prussia, ladies and gentlemen, and accomplish the goal for this campaign. Boom. Yes, please. Okay, we're no longer an autocracy. We're, uh, what were we? Right, right. The Prussian monarchy, one of the best gov reforms, and we can bump up to a kingdom. Wonderful. Let's take some missions. Ansbach succession. Uh, apparently that's it, but yeah, man. There we go. We are prussia ladies and gentlemen started off as the puny insignificant nation of bamberg in the province of bamberg in the area of upper franconia in southern germany as a vassal of Würzburg, who's still alive listen you know sometimes you want to keep them around right then we continued expanding over here and over here and then i got the idea to form saxony because why not and we blew up saxony over here we took egger from bohemia to make buckets of ducats from gold let's make even more boom 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 there we go Yes, more gold, more. That's it, apparently. Nope, we can still make more, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, tons of income from gold, as you guys can see, making 16 ducats a month. And then we formed Saxony, we got some better national ideas, and a better mission tree, and then advanced along this way. I thought we were gonna have to go through Brandenburg, our ally, but we didn't. We just went straight through Poland, man. That's the Chad move right there. Destroyed Poland a couple of times, actually. First time not taking anything, making them break alliances. Second time getting Gloga out of here third time conquering these provinces and a fourth time because i didn't know we need this province and we destroyed poland as well and we formed prussia amazing national ideas amazing government reform we got militarization amazing mission tree and this is a perfectly nice campaign that anyone could continue playing a little more serious style sure not that meme but you guys have told me that you like these more serious campaigns as well so why not we got centers of trade upgraded buildings built marketplaces built churches built we're making so much money. We got so much manpower. Prussia with divine ideas. Who knew, man? Who knew? Then we got Diplo quantity. Perfect, man. An awesome, awesome run. Nowhere near bankruptcy. No disasters. Nothing like that. A very, very stable run. So, it's my pleasure to say that this campaign as Bamberg in A to Z is a success. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk Live, where we're doing an Austria One Faith right now, probably. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.